How you doing? It's Sean O'Brien again with Two A Guys and Gear, and we're out here at a private range finally. And um, we have Brian got a hold of some Cavalar uh, plates, and um, he's going to tell you about them. Yep. So uh, what this is, this is actually an Arms Co. Actually, I've got some notes here. It's an Armor Co. Level Two ballistic panel, um, and what it is, it's actually pressed Kevlar, and uh, it's made in the U.S. It's actually made in Ohio. And I actually got this from work. Uh, we had a, a office in our building that was built into a safe room or panic room, whatever you want to call it. So they lined it with this. And this was actually scrap. We've got a bunch of scrap. So I, I hacked it all into about, I don't know, one foot squares, give or take. And uh, so we're going to take it out here today and shoot it and see how it does. Now, level two, per Armor Co's website, will handle most handguns um, up until about a 44 Magnum, 10 millimeter if it's really hot. So we should be fine uh, with everything that we have to stop it. Now, but what we do want to do is actually punch through it. So we've got a couple AR-15s. Uh, we've got an Astra 600? Uh, 400. 400, which is a 9x23. Largo. Yeah. Largo, yeah, 9 millimeter Largo. And then we also have a, a Tokarev. So I have a feeling one of those will punch through it. Yeah, we got a 10 millimeter Colt. Yep. Uh, 45 Glock and a 9 millimeter. Ruger. So then we also have a 357 Magnum and a 40 caliber. So we'll see. It'll be curious to see what goes through it, what doesn't. Um, now this stuff, it weighs about five pounds a square foot, uh, roughly a little bit over. And per Armor Co's website, it actually costs about $15 a square foot. So, you know, you get a four by eight sheet of this stuff and it, it's heavy and it's expensive. Would you, um, how the hell'd you cut it? So on Armor Co website, they say that you have to use a grit blade which I don't have a grip blade, so I broke out the saws on the circular saw. <laughs> and uh, it cut through it, but man, the dust that came off of this thing is nasty. It, it's it's really bad. So I actually had a full face respirator on just to, just to keep it out of my system. And it cuts fine. It, it wore out the blade. Yeah, it looks like a smooth, yeah, pretty smooth cut. Yeah, so and I just I drilled the holes to hang it on their target frame with uh, just with the regular spade bit. Cool. So, but yeah, so I want to give it a shot, and I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll shoot it first with a couple of the uh, rounds that we know it's going to stop, uh, nine millimeter, 45. 45. So All right. Throw some buckshot in there, see what happens. Let's, uh, let's, let's get started. All right. Okay, so one thing I forgot to mention earlier is that uh, these boards, uh, per Armor Co's website, is that they have to be able to hit or, or take five hits in, in one area uh, in order for it to be effective. So what we're going to do is we're going to sink at least five rounds into the center of each board and hopefully. see how it goes. Yeah, hopefully. In the same area. Yeah, if we can even hit it. Right. <laughs> All right, so All right let me uh, start off with this 9 millimeter, and I'm going to try some Hornady Critical Duty. It is, what grain is this? 135 grain. Good shot. Alright, you wanna go down there and check it out? Let's uh let's put five in it and then go check it. Okay. So uh, I'll hit it with a uh, I'm gonna hit it with a 40 caliber. Well you wanna keep it with the same caliber? Well, let's try some different ones. Alright. What the heck? Alright. Alright, let me try this nine millimeter hydro shot. This is 124 grain um, Hydroshock Federal. I'm going to give the 45 a try. What, what are we shooting out of the 45? 45 is Walmart Special, uh, 230 grain. Uh, ball. All right. Ball round. Full metal jacket. All right. I guess we can try this. Let's throw one more into it. Astra. Let's see that one last because I have a feeling that one's going to punch through it. All right. And let me hit it again with the 45. You got the 10 millimeter? Is you got anything in the 10? No, we can do that one. What 
be shooting out of the 10 millimeter. I don't even know where my box of ammo is for that one. Here we go. This is a 180 grain full metal jacket, American Eagle. Sharpie? I do. Two more okay, check it out. Right, let's head down there and check it out. Nothing came Dang, it stopped them cold. It didn't even budge the back of it, did it? No, not really. I mean, it's bulged a little bit, but. Uh, yeah, you can see the bullet right there in the black. That's the first, uh, that's the Hornady. Yep, there's another one. That's the 45. Um, that's the 10 millimeter. That's awesome. That's the, no, that's the, um, the other 9 millimeter. I can't remember what that one was. So it stopped all five of them. So you can see the plate. Yeah. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, hold it right there. There's no, uh, Yeah, it's not even bulged out. Yeah, not really. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's throw a new plate up there. Well, you want to keep try to uh, use that spot? Yeah, we got plenty of plates. Let's right. throw a new one on there. Hit it with the uh, Largo on the top. You want to go give it a go with the Largo? Yeah. And I'll be curious to see if this goes through there. I have a funny feeling this and the talk will, will do it. I can hit it. Let me walk down there and check it out. Alright. Wow. Didn't go through. Really? Yeah. Holy smokes, man. I thought for sure that one was going to go through. Hmm. Well, let's try that. Uh, fiber off your head. All right, here we go. So this is a Tocker off, 7.62 by 25. Did I miss it? The plate's over this side. <laughs> Can we edit that out? No. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if you're in a defensive thing and he's shooting at you, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> We're shooting low. I'm gonna need to get more ammo. Are you serious? Is it that low? Apparently. Looks like if we're shooting at you with this gun. Pump, uh, pump five more or four more rounds with that nine millimeter in there, the uh, Largo, and see what happens. That's nuts. I'll have to get some more ammo for that and see what the heck's going on. So I really want to shoot it with that. I'm really curious to see if it punches through. God damn. I don't think any of those went through because the dirt behind it didn't move. How's it look? It, it, it cracked the plate, but. Cracked it where? Up, oh, yeah. Here, hold it still. See? Yep, but it didn't go through, I, right? I think that was because of where it was drilled. Yeah. Show me the backside. Holy smokes, man. Unbelievable. I mean, it bubbled it really good. But uh, it yeah, didn't I can go see through. it. But all the hits were here. Right. Look at that lead hanging out. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go reload that Takarev. I'll have to go back to the range bag. See what we can do. I'm gonna 
try out the uh, the Yugo M57? Now that we've got it on paper, we're going to see how we're hitting. Hopefully I can still hit it. There you go. Mm. Cool, let's go down and check that. I'm really curious because now we have, what do we have in there, five Largos or six Largos mm -hmm. and about five or six Takarevs. So and those were the two that I, th I thought would punch through it, but I don't know. I you see we'll from say. here where it, uh, I caught it on the edge of the plate and it blew it out. Yep. Wow, it separated it. Did it really? Yeah. Yep. But you know what? Look in here. Oh yeah, check that out. Holy smokes. But you know what though? At the end of the day, the, the, all those Largos and all those Takarev bullets, they didn't go through really. No, they just, really. I mean, if that were bolted to a wall or screwed to a wall, I don't think it would have, uh, it would have gone through. Either that or even, on, even in a plate carrier. Right, yeah. <clears throat> all right, well let's, uh, let's throw a new plate on there and then uh, see what the 12 gauge does to it. Okay, so now we're going to give it a shot with the uh, 12 gauge. This uh, this armor is actually rated for or rated to stop uh, 12 gauge buckshot, double odd buckshot. So we're going to hit it with that first. And uh, I don't know if we have any regular two and three quarter inch slugs or not. Uh, Apparently they blow right through it, but we have these Aquila mini slugs. So we're really curious to see how those do. See if that goes through it or not. So how many rounds going to do? I'm just going to put one in it. Okay. And this is the uh, this is the estate. 12 gauge uh, double odd buckshot, two and three quarter inch. Holy cow. Well, let's, let's see what happens. Poor stand. It didn't go through there, did it? Nope. Wow, you can see where it bulges it out, but it didn't go through. I'd hate to be on the receiver. I hear you, man. All that energy, good lord. Well, you want to put a... Uh, yeah, let's try to put a little mini slug in Mini it. slug, see what happens. This is actually our first time shooting the Aquila mini slug, so... I think it's pretty cool shooting out of the KSG. What, how many did we determine it holds? Like 20-something? Yeah, I think it holds... 21 or I'm not sure a lot Good Lord, man. Tell you what for being a little mini slug it I mean it didn't kick real hard, but it felt right I think that uh, that buckshot had more oomph behind it. Wow Holy smoke it stopped it That's insane <laughs> Oh, is that it? Yeah. That's part of the plastic, too. Oh, uh, okay. Yep. Man, that's amazing. Well, you know what that means now. We got to uh, we got to get through it one way or the other, right? Um, okay. So now we're uh, we're gonna we're determined to get through this thing. So we're shooting a regular. Uh, what do we got here? No, this ain't a regular. This is the law, law enforcement uh, federal hydro shot, uh, two and three quarter, one ounce slug, low recoil. Okay, so now this, this Kevlar panel already has one round of buckshot in it and one mini slug in it, right? Right. So let's see what this does. Unless you load it up, I can never figure this daggers thing out. Check it out. Didn't go through it. Are you serious? You can see, look. Holy smokes. 
you can see the slug yep. and you can see where the plastic hit it. That's amazing. Hold it so I can see the side where it's bulged out. Hold it upright. Oh, there went the slug. Did it really? <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. That's crazy. Yeah, and actually it's not even rated for slugs. So that's great. So we still have to get through it. You want to put a fresh plate up there and see what the AR-15s do? Okay, so now uh, what we're going to try to do is we're determined to get through this panel with something. So we've got uh, a box of Wolf 556 ammo or 223 Remington, and we're going to shoot it out of the standard AR-15. Uh, it's just one regular bullet. See how that goes, and we'll go down and check it. If that doesn't work, we're going to move it up to the 6.8 SPC. Kids were shooting. Sorry. I hear you. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go check it. Did not go through. Are you serious? No, just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> so clean Went through. through it. Okay, cool. I mean, no bulging, no nothing. Just yep. zipped right through it. Okay. Which was to be expected. Yeah, I hear you. Okay, so I guess that pretty much sums it up. This uh, this Armorco level two uh, ballistic panel, it'll stop just about everything we threw out of it. Everything except for the uh, the five five six full metal jackets. Uh, yeah. We went we ran the uh, gamut on handgun rounds, and even the uh, the slugs. What are they? Critical duty slugs? Law yeah, enforcement that slugs? that is what kind of blew me away. Yeah, is it stopped these? Even though it's low recoil, I mean, I'm not sure what a Magnum would do. But I'm real surprised that that didn't penetrate. Especially, it's not even rated for it. You go to their website and it flat out says it won't stop it. Right, but I, I kind of figured the minis, right. it was gonna stop. Right. Which the minis, um, they kicked more than I thought. Yeah. Um, but these, I was real surprised. Yeah, I'm really impressed with it. And the Largo and the Talker Off, yep. I'm, I'm surprised that didn't go through. And not only that, but I mean, we had a dozen rounds in there total between those two guns. Right, yeah, it, you can see where it was, where it's, you know, it right. just completely devastated the panel, but didn't, uh, didn't penetrate. Yep. So, I mean, that's the sole purpose of it. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm impressed to say the least. And we have a, a lot more of this at home. So maybe we'll do some more videos in the future if we have some other ideas. And uh, for all you guys on Maryland Shooters, uh, stay tuned. We're actually going to give some of it away. I know some of the guys are interested in getting some of it, so I'll cut up a few pieces and do a karma or something. Also, um, you know, for uh, for shit hits the fan, I mean, this would be a good emergency makeshift uh, body armor. Right, yeah. To, to throw, Make a little uh, plate carrier out of it. Yeah, throw some plates. Or plate, yeah. Or put it in a plate carrier. Right. Um, even if you uh, vacuum sealed it, and uh, dumped it in a plate carrier. Yep. I mean, at this point, I would, I would rely on it. <laughs> I hear you. I'm sure, it hurt like hell. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it'll. Sure I it'll mean, hurt. obviously, it'll save you. I mean, look at all that. And right. All that went through. So. Exactly. But, Heck yeah. Uh, so it's uh, two A guys in gear, and um, if you like us, please subscribe. <laughs> Oop. Try it again. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.